Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. You know I'm your girl Avis and today is going to be a basically a chit chat video. But while I'm chit chatting with you guys, I'm going to be doing my hair. I'm going to be curling my hair. So I just going to be sitting here running my mouth and I could be doing something. So right now I'm going to be curling my hair and the uh, curler I'm going to be using is my Satfire Irresistible Me. Wine curl, they come with different attachments, but I can't remember which barrel this is, but I think it's the biggest one. So I will be using that and it goes up to 450 degrees and flatten my closure part up there. And also I use the Ghost Bond glue to put it down and also my um, Even New York hair um, lace spray. So yeah, and what I'm going for is some type of waves. I'm hot already because I'm gonna need the lights. But anyway, so I'm coming, I'm coming to you guys today because I have something I want to talk to you about, and it's about my VFG surgery. And plus, um, I'm pretty sure you already see the title, so we're just gonna go from there. And I'll tell you guys, we're gonna do some big curls, some big curls. It's gonna be. I'm, I'm going for more of a wave. So that's what we will be doing today. And um, so yeah, let's just get right on into it. So as you guys know, I had weight loss surgery about three years ago. Wasn't well, about um over three years ago. And it was like February 21st of <laughs> it's Yeah, yeah. I need some oil to put on my hair. But anyway, um, that's how long it's been. And uh, I, all the research I did, because I researched the hell out of uh, this surgery before I even got it done. And I never came across anything that was like, that was so bad to make me say, oh, I'm definitely not getting this procedure. Um, besides the ones that, oh, you have to take medication for the rest of your life. Uh, I'm like, I'm not taking no vitamins and medication. And mind you, I just started back taking vitamins. Because I never took them consistently. And um, I just started back taking vitamins like um, a week ago. Give me a minute. I got to get some oil for my hair. Okay, I'm back. So, I can't remember where I left off at. But anyway... Um, three years ago, I, oh, about the vitamins. And, um, so I was like, I'm not taking no vitamins or whatever. And like, and then you guys, if you guys remember, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I had like this bone issue going on where therefore like, um, I had different pains in my bodies, my bodies, my body, different pain in my body. And, um, oh my God, I'm all over the place. This new tripod I got, I can like twist this nozzle and it go up. Go down just a little. Okay. That's better. And it was due to not enough vitamins in your body. And of course, um, I heard a lot of people say different things about different things. I'm like, mm. I don't think I had with that bone issue, which you guys knocked the crap out because I couldn't. It was to the point where I couldn't even lift my arms up at times. And you know, my bones used to be aching so bad. If you guys remember that, I used to cry about that a lot. And that was like probably the only thing I had an issue with. And I still then, I didn't regret it. Now, I did have some small issues like my sex drive went away. Um... Which became a bummer because hubby was like, you know, he wanted it all the time. But I wasn't in the mood for that. Um, so, yeah. So, let's just get into... Well, you know, I'm still going to keep going by issues I have. Then I'm going to get into this issue I have now. And, um, so, yeah. Oh, that looks so good. If you want to know what grease I use, too, I use the Blue Magic, the coconut oil. And I did have some hair loss. 
And what else do I have? I can't remember, but you guys can go back and watch the videos. That's why I post them for. But the issue that I'm having now is that due to me not taking vitamins and having the, uh, the right amount of like vitamins, nutrition, all that stuff in my body, my teeth are starting to rot. Same way when you're pregnant and you don't have enough calcium in your body and uh, you don't have enough calcium in your body then for your, for your baby, then the baby will start drawing it out, drawing the calcium from your body. And where do they draw that from? Your teeth and your bones. I know about this firsthand before I even you know, know about this. But I know about that firsthand because my sister had that issue with her uh, her baby. And when, um, because she wasn't a milk drinker or anything, and I'm not eating anything really to get any vitamins from anyway because I eat more junk. As you can see back there, cookies, I, I snack more than I eat. I don't eat real food like that. I mean, I may eat some here and there. I may, as you see, I go out a lot and eat, but I never eat all my food. Like, literally, Roman tell you, like, I don't. I end up giving it to him. And even with my seafood, I still eat seafood a lot, but it takes me a while because like after a minute of eating it, I'm like, okay, I'm over it. And then like two days, two or three days later, I come back and eat it, which is still good because in the refrigerator. But yeah. But anyway, that happened to my sister. Um, when she was pregnant, her baby drew out all the calcium in her body. Her whole mouth got rotten. It rotten up all her teeth. She had to get her teeth done. It rotten all her teeth out. And that was crazy to me. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then like, and a post came on Facebook about that too. I said, I told another girl was like, how is this possible? I said, oh, it's possible because my sister went through this. I know about this firsthand. And um, she was like, oh, wow. And I explained to them, you can even look it up, um, Google it and find my this. But due to me not having enough nutrients in my body, and plus when you know, when you get VSG surgery, your body does not absorb the, the proper amount of nutrients that it should before you even have the surgery because that's why you have to take vitamins every single day. And you guys know I don't take vitamins. I never did like vitamins or anything like that. And that has became a bummer upon me. I am a little bit over place. I'm trying to do something. I need to clean this. Hold on. There, I'm back. It looks better now. I had to clean my lens. Uh, it looked kind of foggy, but now it looks crystal clear. And so now my teeth are decaying because I don't, I'm not getting the vitamins I, I was supposed to. And my teeth are rotting. And I'm trying to get them fixed and trying to get them done. It has gotten bad to like, I have two in the front of my mouth that my teeth is starting to rot. I have cavities in the front. I'm like, I never had cavities like that. Especially like, why? And like, the next thing I know my teeth is breaking, like, why is my teeth breaking and chipping off? Like, what the world? And I don't even eat hard foods for it to break besides crabs. And I've been eating crabs my whole life with my teeth. And I ain't never had no issue. And all of a sudden now, they're chipping and breaking. I mean, it's not an insecure thing with me as far as like, oh my God, I'm scared to smile. I'm still going to smile. But I mean, be happy to be me because I can't control that. But I can try to get it fixed. I can try, you know, to get my teeth done as far as like get the cavities so and let them do the filling in, whatever. And if when I get enough money or whatever the case it may be, um, get my teeth fixed. Shit, you know. So, yeah, anyways. But I have a cavity, two cavities in the front of my mouth. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I took a picture this morning and I showed hubby. He was like, oh, no, we got to do something. I told him, like, no, baby, we got to do something about this. And he was like, hell, he had, he didn't even want to text me. Like, he had sent me a voice message, like, because we, we take through Facebook. And he was like, yeah, we definitely got to do something about that. You too pretty, baby. Uh, they have in the mouth. Like, that's how I know it. And, like... And I don't even know if I even feel comfortable like showing it to you guys because like I said, it's not an insecure with me, but like I would never think it would happen to me or something like that would happen due to this surgery. And like a girl went blind behind VSG search. I didn't think it was possible, but I was reading in the group and the girl went blind. I'm like, how? But I guess the same thing goes with that. Not the proper amount of nutrients for a certain amount of things. 
So now I'm taking Biotin pills, which I heard called breakouts and look, I'm, I'm breaking out. And I don't know, it could be because my cycle about to come on, but now I'm getting breakouts, but I never got that many bumps in my face from a cycle. And I Googled it, like, you know, we Google everything and trying to see why I'm breaking out so bad. And it's Biotin pills are for, if you don't know, Biotin for hair, nails, and skin. Um, make your hair grow, make your skin look nice, whatever. And I just started taking that like a week, a week or two ago also. And trying to get my hair to grow because, you know, the front part of my hair. Oh, oh, not just the front. Excuse me. My hair is very, very, very short now. Now, I know I have mistaken and cut my hair a couple of times. And I was like taking out some of my hair or whatever. Fuck around and like really chop my shit off. So, I know I'm missing length because of that. And also... I feel like my hair is just coming out so and I'm, I'm a little now that bothers me a little bit but then again like I say I don't um wear my hair out so but still like when you do take your hair you still want to make sure that your hair is still healthy and look uh, good or whatever and make sure it looks nice but unfortunately, my edges look like a piece of shit. And um, my hair is very short. Like, I've been looking like bald head Sally. I hope none of y'all named Sally, but that was the first name that came to my head. I missed something right there. Nope. Where is it? Nope. No, it's just a loose curl. It's fine. It's fine. But anyway. And, and I'm like I said, I, I don't know. I just never thought something like that would happen to me due to the surgery, whatever. And then, um... I was thinking about going back and get like because you guys I gained like I told you this video told you about this in a video like maybe a couple months ago I, I gained 40 pounds back I'm now 218 um I, well, I got up to like 220 uh 3 or 25 and I lost the weight and now I'm 218 the highest weight was 318 and I'm working on um, getting back down. The lowest weight I got to was 181. And I would look like a little skeleton then. But still, it was fine for me. Because I was like, like a size 8 and a 10. You couldn't tell me nothing. So I think right now I'm in like um, maybe a 14. I hope I'm not in the 16. I'm going to be depressed. But anyway, um. I'm working on that and I will talk to my surgeon and like in a revision that's like kind of like in the bypass but then that will come with a whole lot more issues so if they bump that I'm just going to get it done on my own like I've been doing just stay motivated and work out more drink plenty of water and stop snacking and eat real foods and i find myself losing weight a whole lot more when my meals are already pre-planned like meal prepped already um made for the day and i could just throw it together i find it a whole lot more easier for me when i do that and of course meal prep takes a Depending on what you're having, it takes a minute. It's that's a lot, but you what the thing is, we make time for what we make time for. And if I want it, I gotta get it done. That's all to it. That is all to it.
Okay, there you go. But to the one that he asking, no, I don't regret the surgery because it helped me a lot. It's it's not the surgery it help that makes you lose weight, you know, it makes your stomach smaller, but because it's just a tool to help guide you, just like a tool you buy to help you make something. You got to put the work in. It just is having just sitting around and not doing that. It's not going to do anything. But you got to put the work in and put the effort in to do what needs to be done. Uh, come on. Oh, and it buried me. So, that's what's going on in my life, you guys. That is what's going on in Ace's life. I can't make my, get all depressed about it, because what's the point in that? What is the point in that? You guys, I'm so tired of these fruit flies. It's like this year, this summer, fruit flies have been appalling. But luckily, I just set these traps around the house. And I don't, it don't help either that I'm in the country because all these damn bugs, including open the door, like 10 bugs, damn near flying the house. Oh, you better not have your lights on at nighttime when you go outside and open the door. Like, oh, shit. But anyway, I put these little traps out, fly traps, fruit fly trap things, you know. I got from Dollar General and they caught them suckers. I'm like, oh my God. Even like when wasps, because wasps are bees do fly in the house. Because, like, like I said, we live in a country. And I live under nothing but trees. Like, a big-ass... I don't know if it's an oak tree, but it's a big-ass giant tree over over our, over our house. And, honey, I'm sure to sure that tree house, everything, and his mama in it. That's the part I hate about the country. I love the quietness and the open, fresh air and all that stuff. But it's the bugs. I don't like. I can do without that. I can do without the books. Also, you guys, I'm starting to go back to work. I done had enough of sitting around thing. I done had enough of that. That just, that's how I started back working after not working for years because hubby wanted me to be home. And I got back in the work field for like two years, you guys know of. Then I quit my job. Me being at home, I have been home like a month and a week now. Maybe a month and two weeks. I've been keeping tabs. And, <laughs> honey, your girl is like, uh uh. Uh uh. Uh-uh. I am bored. Sit around watching TV. This. No. No. This is the last one. And then we're going to comb it out. And I'm not going to put no makeup on. It's just a hair tutorial. I haven't used that one in years. So we're going to comb through it a little bit. Bump that. I'm going to use that brush. Oh, honey. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Y'all see that? And that grease is the bomb. It holds a nice amount of heat. I feel like I want to curl this. I always curl one side better than the other side. I always did that. And now we have to go back and fix this. So right here, 
needs a little bit of volume. So I'm going to go up in here, make smaller sections, break that into two, and curl it. I always curl one side better than the other. I don't know why, but I do. Just let the heat sit down for a minute. We got 20 minutes in, you guys. I'm going to finish curling this. Then I'll be back to show you my end result. Okay, I'm back. And this is my hair. It looks really good. It's really, really good. And if you want more chit chat videos with your girl and you guys know I'm an open book, I talk about everything. So um, you want more chit chat videos from me, be sure to comment below and let me know. Because the only way I would know is if that you, unless you let me know by commenting, liking, and doing all that good jazz that you do. Liking, sharing, commenting, tell a friend to come to my channel. Whatever, whatever. whatever. I do everything over here. So yeah, your girl coming back slowly but more of i'm getting back into the front of the camera like i used to be like doing my hair videos because that's my root of my channel is hair and beauty and i do some vlogs here and there well of course i'm doing vlogs i love my vlogs yeah look at this stop playing go to my website I have a wig sale going on right now 150 dollars for 18 inch 4x4 wig The more I play in it, the bigger and sassier it gets. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. See you later. Oh, and comment below your thoughts about what I talked about in the video. Bye, you guys.